Yo, what's up guys, your boy Hi Dev. Um, right here in the front yard, doing some meditation, some sun gazing. Um, I want to share a breath practice with you guys today. This is a, uh, it's called Shiva Shakti Breathing. Uh, this is uh, uh, taught to me by a living master, enlightened guru uh, of our time. Um, and we'll get right into it. So... Hopefully at this time, right now, where we are watching this video, or before you're watching this video, you are in a meditative state, meditative mind, meditative posture. And uh, so that's the, that's the posture. That's the energy, the vibration of, and frequency of this, of this video, of this meditation. So we're doing solar body meditation, and we're doing Shiva Shakti breath. So So, long inhales, long exhales. Pay attention to the breath on the inhale and the exhale. And if you're doing any locks or any holds, pay attention to the time. So I like to go 10 seconds in to 10 seconds out. And this is great. This will give you great benefits um, health benefits, mental clarity benefits, um, stabilizing your, your heart, your EMF field. Uh, this breath is helps you tune into the mindless state, the no mind, um, the breathless state. And that's the state that everybody wants to get to when they meditate. Um, you, technically, scientifically, you're not meditating until you get to that state because the actual act of meditating is rejuvenating your, your DNA, rejuvenating your, your body, repairing yourself, right? Rebooting yourself. That is what actually meditating is. Um, of course, if you want to compare it to computers, technology, your cell phone, right? Everybody has a cell phone, so this is common ground here. You have a cell phone, you clean your apps, you run app cleaner, right? Meditation, app cleaner. <clears throat> Our brain is a cell phone, right? What we think about all the time, day-to-day -day stuff, right, is the apps we have running. So meditation is the, the app cleaner, the mind cleaner, the thought cleaner, right? And to actually get into meditation, technical meditation, is to get into the breathless state, the no mind. So when you're in the no mind, the, no, the breathless state, you're not thinking of anything. And you're barely even thinking about your breathing because it's already happening already. So you're letting your body go get down to its involuntary systems so you could really start getting into some internal repair. Right? internal repair meaning whatever if you want to focus on healing what you got if you got a sickness or you got a, a ailment or whatever or or there's something that you need to a traumatic experience you need to reflect on and heal energetically from then this shiva shakti breathing gets you down to that mindless and breathless state to where you can actually start putting your attention and focus on healing and rejuvenating your body so being in control of your life force, right? Amping up your life force, amping up your consciousness, amping up your your, your DNA, your, your RNA, your epigenetic scale, whatever, right? So, Shiva Shakti breathing. Demonstrate again. Curl the tongue. And again, this doesn't have to be done in sunlight, but I like to do it in sunlight. And so for me, it's a grounding uh, cord uh, with the sun. So you just curl the tongue, 
I'm loosening up my neck. I have a lot of tension in my, my neck and my shoulders. <clears throat> so. Ten seconds on the inhale. Ten seconds on the exhale. So again, inhale, ten seconds. Exhale, ten seconds. So good breath work to get in tune with your subconscious, right? Because your subconscious is like whispering to your inner child. So the Shiva Shakti breath is the whispering breath because it's the mindless, the mindless state. And then when you get to the, sorry, there's a lot of flies around. When you get to, um, it's Mother Nature. A lot of growing plants around here, a lot of life. Um, when you get to that state, right, think of, you know, magical, right, or mystical, or uh, wonderment, and awe, oh, wow, right, like that state of a child, that's your inner child, and your subconscious is always on, it's never off, it, it, if, if, you, if you were to go unconscious, right, get knocked out, or fall down, or whatever, or, right, oh, and you wake up, your subconscious is still on. It's most active when you're a child. And then as you grow up, we press things upon our subconscious or we callous our subconscious or we, we, we um, you know, uh, add to it or take away from it or strip it down. It's like a you know a car surface, right? You know, you do the paint. It's just raw metal at first, right? If the car is metal, right? Let's say the subconscious is strong, right? Like metal. And you add these coats to it, you add these layers to it, right? A lot of times, these coats and layers that we didn't add from, you know, let's say the teenage years up to adult life, we added those, right? Co-created with society, right? Because we said, so we adopted this and we say, hey, this, da, 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 right? But from a child, from birth to about seven years old, a lot of these were already given to us. You know, these coats, right? These coats, coats as far as like, you know, uh, identity or religion or spirituality or uh, personality or, you know, race, uh, family. Um, you know what I mean? Saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, all these things were like, this is your makeup, this is who you are, so we're like, yep, lock it in, right? So now, we're creating our reality with our perception, right? But, perception and frequency and vibration are all tied together. So, to start changing your perception, first you have to change your frequency and your vibration. So that's what the breath, the Shiva Shakti breath is for. So when you do the Shiva Shakti breath, you're getting in tune with divinity in your astral body. So when you're in tune with your divinity in your astral body, now you're you're in tune with your higher self. Your higher self, your astral body and divinity, your astral body has more. Uh, connection to your higher self your higher self is divinity that's that's the highest self it's divinity right so divinity astral self physical dense gross bodies 3d right then you have you know crystalline structure or silicone structures or you know carbon structures right 
Um, but it, divinity, right? So get back up to the, the the cream of the crop, the milk and the honey. So you got divinity. Going down from divinity, you have astral, ethereal, right? Akashic. Then from Akashic, astral, ethereal, you have energetic, right? Energetic systems, empathetic systems. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, apologize about that. Had a yawn. It's natural things, right? Involuntary things of the body, like yawning or, you know, <clears throat> anything that the body does naturally. Um, mind and heart communication. So, mind communicating with your heart. Uh, but getting that in tune, right? Aligning your chakra systems. So, from the scale of you know, root to crown, aligning that. So this breath work helps with that. So we'll do again. Curl the tongue. 10 seconds on the inhale, and then 10 seconds on the exhale. And listening to your own breath is soothing, right? Because it's your frequency. It's your frequency of your life force. What you're doing is you're listening to your own life force course through your body and exhale through your body, right? So that's the sound of your spirit and that's the sound of your thoughts because thoughts and breath and consciousness are all tied like a triple manifold, right? Or trifold, you know? So when you have like, when you have a sword, right? If you're like blacksmithing a sword, you fold it over three times, right? To get strong. You got your breath, right you got your consciousness life force prana you got you know and, and, and so on so on you get where i'm going with that right you know you can take the merkaba the dna structure you know your merkaba 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 for the merkaba merkaba however you want to pronounce it but basically you have that so you take that that's the the ship, right? The body, the temple. That's your temple. So, you're hearing my <clears throat> life force speak to you right now, but also you're hearing it. And the sound is going. Shiva Shakti breath work. Hope this video helps you. And um, yeah, enjoy it. Apply it to your life. It's your boy High Dev signing out. Peace, light, and love.